Officials say they are still trying to figure that out. It's also not clear tonight just how widespread that hack is. One cybersecurity expert I spoke with said, make no mistake, whoever did this, they're professional criminals. The second largest community college in the state is especially quiet. Classes have been canceled the last two days after hackers took over the system. And the cyber crooks are now demanding the school to pay up. And this is an organization. This isn't like this one guy alone in an attic or a basement or somewhere in the middle of nowhere. These are criminals. These are organized crime. Devrin Wern specializes in cybersecurity. He says major institutions are often targets of hackers looking to make big bucks. The versions of hacking and the ways to hack have evolved so greatly since probably the last 10 years. CPCC is just the latest major institution in the Charlotte area to fall victim to hackers. In 2018, Charlotte Mecklenburg schools were hacked with the crooks obtaining passwords and logins and stealing more than $30,000 in a wire fraud scam. The year before, 48 Mecklenburg County servers were held for ransom, prompting an online shutdown. Whether it be colleges or local governments, why are they appearing to be so vulnerable to attackers. Human engineering is a big problem. It's probably one of the biggest culprits, meaning that we as humans make mistakes. The school says they do not believe that any personal information was compromised, but they have pulled all of that information offline out of an abundance of caution. Live tonight in the newsroom, Ryan Kruger, Fox 46.